Professor Tribe, we begin uh, with you tonight with all of your experience as a uh, practitioner before the Supreme Court and a very successful one. Uh, please set for us where we are tonight in Supreme Court history. How rare is this kind of intervention request to the Supreme Court? Uh, how often does the Supreme Court uh, respond within hours to such a request? Uh, where are we now in the history of this story? We are on a very fast track, Lawrence. In the 1940s, as I researched it, there were only two cases, one of which involved the Nazi saboteurs, in which the court moved to leapfrog the Court of Appeals and consider a case straight out of the trial court. In the 1950s, there was only one such case involving Truman's seizure of the steel mills. I couldn't find any such cases in the 1960s. There was one in the 1970s. You've described it, the Nixon tapes case. Uh, in the 1980s, there were two, one of them involving the Iran hostage crisis. I haven't found any in the 1990s. And in the 2000s, the pace has picked up. There have been five or six. It's not quite as extraordinary now. The court is picking up its pace. But the net result is that Jack Smith trumped Trump. And it is going to consider this case without doubt once the former president responds by 4 p.m. nine days from now, a week from Wednesday, um, urging that it not take the case, he really won't have any good arguments about why it should wait for the Court of Appeals. They will almost certainly decide to hear the case on an expedited schedule. It will be resolved in all certainty, very little doubt, uh, in time for Jack Smith's trial before Tanya Chutkin to begin on March 4th. So we are watching history in the making, and it's on fast boil.